in the beginning, there was nothing. It was dark. It was black. And then came the light. And with the light, we saw colors. And we loved what we saw. My name is Carl Johan Bertilsson. Most people know me as Carl, and today I have the honor and the privilege, together with Three Trees, to present to you Color and Color Trends for 2021. Now, color is beautiful. We love color. But is color important? And everybody says, yes, color is so important. Then why, if color is so important, do we usually buy white? Most of the time, it's because we are afraid of making color decisions. But just see what happens if you have white and you have color that makes things happen. Color is so important. And today, we will make color even more important to make China more beautiful. MRKRL is all about color. We're from all parts of the world, and all of us are experts of color and design of different areas. When working with color trends, we all dress in black to be able to focus on the colors alone. Each participant does an individual research of today's trends and observations for the coming trends and presents the results to the group. We then analyze similarities to find synergies and find common conclusions and stories of the most important drivers for our client. The most important part is, of course, to choose the colors that represents and identifies each trend story and driver. For three trees, for China and the world, for 2021 and 22, we found a very important keyword, connections. We all connect to the nature. We all connect to our past and present. We all connect with others through avatars. We all connect to the success of our nation, our sports, and to the Winter Olympic Games of 2022. It's all about connections. Now, what is a color trend? And this is very, very important to understand. Color trends is understanding the market psychology at a given time. But for a company or for architects and designers, color trends is understanding in what direction our color preferences are moving. So this project is customized for the product and brands of three trees. Different from most other trends is pure psychology. Most trends depend on innovations. When something new comes out, it becomes trendy. But colors already exist. All the colors have always existed. So there are new, new colors. So it's a pure understanding on our psychology, how it works and how our preferences change with time. When we forecast, one of the most important things is to understand what is trendy today. Because understanding what is trendy today, it's easier to understand in what direction our color preferences are moving. And this is because color trends is a repetitive cycle. So understanding today, we can understand in what direction our color preferences are moving. And today, we are globally looking at color trends that have been quite chromatic 
becoming a little bit more pale and more dark, brownish, before we get to the neutral colors. This is a global trend forecast. When we started color forecasting for 2021, about a year ago, the most important driver was the climate, the nature, our planet, and the survival and the future of our planet. That is, was a very, very strong driver that affected our behavior. And then came Corona, COVID-19, and changed everything. But our forecast from before did not change. The forecasts are still here, but they're stronger and they're faster than before. Love of life and living situations, spaces that reconnect us to nature and inspire us, boosts our productivity and reinforces a strong sense of well-being. The color palette is a pale green with natural neutrals and a beautiful pink shade, so important to us. It is a color of new beginnings and a new life. The colors themselves are natural, but not strong. An important trend direction representing health, relief, and well-being. The dark rock art deco is very important today. We have talked about well-being and the focus that we need to feel good. Today, this focus is more important than ever. We change our architecture, we change our design so we can focus on our well being. So we have a holistic well being, complete overview on our lives of well being. We stay at home much more than before. We work from our homes, we don't go out so much. We have caused something that we call mass meditation. Once again, something we have talked about in trends for years that we need to sit down, close our eyes, disconnect from reality, and think over things. So it's not only about bringing the nature into our cities, into our parks and buildings. We want to bring the nature into our homes. We want nature to be a part of our interiors. So we have plants, we have trees, we have vegetation in our homes. We even decorate wallpaper or other details with patterns of vegetation. This is a very important phenomenon in architecture and design, very trendy, that is called biophilia. But we also have the other part. People are moving or they are changing or they are going to our nature. They are leaving our homes and going to the nature. We have created something that we call in a trend forecast as urban expats. City people that for the first time in their lives go to the nature. A person told me recently that in China, the young generation for the first time go to the nature. And they find that the nature gives them all of these feelings that we need today of harmony, relaxation. We can think and we can connect. We become one with the nature. And this is another very strong trend today that we call, and many forecasters call, animisma. Understanding that the nature is a living being. Everything in the nature has life. A tree can be alive for thousands of years. We become one with the nature. So bringing the nature into our cities and into our homes into our interiors, we introduce you to trend number one, the very important word, biophilia. Biophilia is bringing the nature into our homes with a beautiful constellation of colors that are natural, they are similar in nuance, they are harmonious with each other, but they still have the very important contrast that we need in our interiors between the pink and the greens, the neutrals, and we have a dark blackish rock color with this rough texture that complements and make this beautiful biophilia story complete and necessary. Plus, we also introduce you this exterior color, the green color replacing these normal white buildings. Now we make them green. This is biophilia.
The new and changed China has risen to be a leading world power today, and there is so much to be inspired by from ancient history. We get inspiration from past empires and make these lifestyles modern. The colors are dark and strong. The dark shades project luxury and elegance, while strong colors are important accents to emphasize key details representing our pride for our past and present. The colors are powerful shades that used to be associated with wealth. Today, anyone can afford these shades. They are modern interpretations of our past. So we have a new world, with a new China taking the lead of this new world. A new China with many new things happening, where the women are taking a much more important role. We call this the new feminism. When we look at our roots, at our ancestors, and we get the inspiration from the best, the beauties of our ancestries, and we create new modern interpretations. And it's not only nationalistic, it can be local from the little region where we're from or the little city part where we live in. We call this micro-localism. So what we do is we take our roots, we take and we create a new design that we're very proud of. We show the world and the world is doing exactly the same. So suddenly we have a new school or what we call a multicultural design where the Chinese designer meet the Mexican designer find synergies and create a completely new design with beautiful imperial colors from our ancestors. So we have this imperial feeling of elegance, of luxury, of our roots. So we created Trend number two, Tang Novo. The combination of the beauty of the Tang Dynasty together with the Art Novo, the new art form, creates a new school of elegance of luxury, Tang Novo, with beautiful colors, exclusive, elegant colors, where you have the deep, dark shades, that per definition gives us the feeling of elegance and luxury. Together with some lighter colors, like the yellow, which is perfect for the spot colors, or details of ornaments and other uh, spots in our interior. So ladies and gentlemen, for you who want elegance and luxury, we have Tang Novo. Human beings have always sought an escape from reality in terms of entertainment to feel happy in our lives. As long as we have entertainment and food on our tables, life is good. Today's entertainment and social activities are in a digital world, many times as avatars. The colors are modern pastel, joyful colors that preferably should be used together. The pastel colors are an important trend direction for our interiors. They are a very important, sweet inclusion in our stressful lives. In this new world we're living in, the new luxury is not so much consumption products anymore. The new luxury is much more connections. That we have connections to other people, relations. In this new world, we are also creating a world of connections in a different platform a digital platform that traditionally the young people use for gaming. You know, you work on internet and you game and you warrior, you have wars and everything. But the new world is about connections in the digital world. And it's usually in gaming platforms. You get together, you create your avatars, a representation of yourself. It's a fantasy escaping from the reality and you meet other avatars, and not only in war. But today you go shopping together, 
You go and watch movies together. You create relations and connections to other people through your avatars. This is an increasing, very important global trend. And obviously, where China is in the lead in this high-tech evolution of the digital world. So, we introduce you to this new digital world and we create the world of our avatars. Trend number three that we call Chinatar. Chinatar is this new platform of connections between human beings through our avatars. It's a world of gaming, of social interaction, full of colors. So the color palette we have here is a very trendy color palette, a very clear direction of color trends, of pale colors, but different colors, from different hues. So we have a lot of hue contrasts, but they are very similar and new ones. And you have one very important color, which is a blue color, a reddish blue color, which is also one of the most popular, appreciated colors ever in history. This together makes a fantastic palette of colors for us people who want to relate to this social digital world of Chinatown. China has so much to be proud of. The country has in such a short time shown an enormous focus, discipline, and solidarity to make it possible for China to become what it is today. The last victory was over COVID-19. In 2022, Beijing will host the most important winter sports games, the Winter Olympic Games. Three Trees is the exclusive supplier of the paint for these winter games. The colors are winter Olympic shades full of hope for more Chinese victories to come. These are winter colors with pale red and yellow and blue to make us feel that Olympic fire, the gold of winning, the cold of the winter, and of course, the important red of a lucky and victorious China. We're now entering a new era. After a longer period of time that has been quite difficult for many of us. In China, you have been through a period not only of this pandemic, but you have been working for a long time to become number one. Together, the Chinese have worked, focused, disciplined to create this new China. The connection now is directly to the next Winter Olympic Games in Beijing 2022. So Three Trees, together with you guys, will make sure that these Olympic Games will be the most colorful, the most beautiful ever. This is important. So we create trend number four. And trend number four is a tribute to you. And we call this heroes. So this feeling of freedom, of optimism, of connection to the future Olympic Games, we created this beautiful palette of this very trendy direction. So repeat this. This is not only giving the feeling about the Winter Olympic Games. These colors are very important today. These are pale colors, light colors. These are full of feelings of optimism and future positivism. Beautiful constellations making us feel and think about the good things about winter, but also the connection to the heroes of gold, the Olympic fire, the coldness of the ice, and the success of the colors of the Olympic Games, and obviously the hope of victory for the Chinese sports people.
You have now seen these four groups of trend colors and trend directions. All of them were very special and own personality, appealing to our deepest feelings about the trends to come for 2021 and 22. I would like you to close your eyes and feel which story you belong to, which group of colors and which direction would be important for you or your clients. Because all these four groups are extremely relevant for China, but not only for China. This is also a global palette of colors. Keep that in mind. I would like to thank Three Trees for having invited us to partner, to be able to develop these colors. And I hope that you, together with Three Trees, will make these coming Winter Olympic Games 2022 in Beijing the most colorful, the most successful, the most beautiful ever. I wish you good luck, have fun, use colors, and I hope to see you soon. Xie xie.